I'm with my colleague, Professor Stephen Livingston. Been here a long time. When we talk about media, when we think about media and public affairs, people naturally think about newspapers, television, radio. You've done and looked at all of that, but you also dig into something called ICT, Information, information Communication Technologies. What are they? Uh, information and communication technologies involve a broad array of things. Everything from satellites in space that are able to take pictures on the ground that are 31 centimeters resolution, fancy way of saying simply you could see things on the ground that are about that big, all the way to the kinds of technologies that allow us to look into the human body and figure out DNA matching that's used in all kinds of fascinating ways. And your dig into this media now is taking you around the world. Uh, to Africa in particular, how are these information communication technologies being applied on the ground and how are you looking at it? Something as simple as a cell phone that's connected with other cell phones that are connected with other cell phones, creating a network that allows that community, for instance, to pay attention to where the crimes are, are occurring in their, in their particular area, you know, which is often a slum. The police don't go there, but the people are there and they're utilizing those technologies to create an awareness that helps them live their lives. What we know and what you're looking at is how these information communication technologies can be complete game changers in the developing world. How so? Today, farmers are getting pr daily price quotes on their cell phones that tell them how to bargain, how to, s to feed their families with the prices that they're getting for their products. The Interesting thing with all of this is you're there on the ground, sometimes with our students, yeah. and you're taking pictures, and you are an amazing photographer. It's fun. Tell us what we see in a few of them. You know, most often what we see in the photographs that I love to take are the faces of the people. My attempt at finding out something about who they are what they're about, and I think the face, the eyes, are the place that we turn to to get that kind of information. So, so many of my photographs have to do with the attempt on my part to get at who they are as people through their photographs. And so, a lot of my photographs have to do with that. Can these technologies change this humanity? So, one of the things that I try to do in my courses and in my work and in my research is to highlight and reinforce the ways in which technologies are used to further human well-being. You're fundamentally an optimist, though, about this technology? I'm fundamentally an optimist that they can be used for positive good, uh, for positive outcomes. Um, I'm also a realist. I know that sometimes they're not. Tell us about your latest research. You know, what I'm really trying to do now is figure out how to use these technologies, from satellites to, as I say, biology to cell phones, to improve on our awareness of the security and insecurities experienced by people all over the planet, not just Africa, but also South America as well, and in Asia, and use these technologies to increase the possibility that people can live their life free of violence, some degree of security, some degree of independence from worrying about tomorrow. That's really what I'm trying to do right now.